This is my idea of a turbine. So I would have a tube. And I would take an alcohol mixture. And a uh, electrosis. Hydrogen from electrosis. So we'll put HHO in a tank together connected to that tube which has a valve to let the ex the, the uh, alcohol and HHO out at a level of pressure and there will be a ray from a magnifying glass to heat the tube so here's a ray so that the alcohol and the HHO will ignite. This is from the sun. And at the end of this tube, this tube, so this, this side contains the HHO and the alcohol, and this side has a cap on the end of the tube, or let's just say it's closed, but it has slits like this. And the slits are at an angle, so it looks like a fan. At a, uh, let's see, so they're not straight with the, with the sky. They're, they're slits, but they have an angle to them. And one's pointed this way, one's pointed that way, one's pointed this way, one's pointed that way, and one's pointed this way. And so those slits are stationary since this is closed off. And then when it's closed off, the tube continues. And there's a fan inside, which, is, which has perpendicular blades to the air. So it would have blades here, 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 and there. So at, when the air hits the, when the air goes through the tube, this tube, goes through the slits at the top of the cap, the stationary cap, and gets a, uh, a slight uh, airflow direction change and goes against the blades of the fan. The fan could be made out of copper, could be a copper disc, which has slits that are perpendicular, to, or yeah, have perpendicular to the airflow that's coming out of the stationary end cap of the tube and then that copper disc will spin and we'll have a magnet here for the copper to uh, um, have a magnetic field to create energy which will create DC energy that's my turbine I also thought maybe you could use the excess air as the hydrogen into a balloon and have the balloon rise a magnet or save as much energy as you possibly could. So this is my generator. Thanks for watching.